here's a class on how to pick up things and move things around. It sounds like you know what to do. You know, you just, oh, I already know what to do. You're wrong. This is a diamond. These are diamond uh, tweezers. Now look, uh, there are other kinds of diamond tweezers as well, and you might end up getting stuck with the different kinds. This is a, this is also a diamond uh, tweezer. This is not as good as this. This one is made by uh, It's made by stainless. JSP. JSP makes this. Uh, I don't know if they're still in existence. I've had these tweezers for probably 25 or 30 years. Maybe more. Here's how you pick up a stone with a pair of tweezers. Watch me. This is a delicate maneuver. It's not about hand-eye coordination. It's more than that. It's delicacy as well. I pick this up like that. Now, normally, you can't do that. It'll fall right down if you do it. But I can make this stone behave this way or this way. I can pick it up. Now, gem scoop. You don't pick up, ever pick up beads or stones like this with your hand. If you do, you immediately identify yourself as a noob and a civilian in the jewelry industry. You always have a gem scoop. Short gem scoop is preferred to a long one. If you can find one, I've had this one since 1964. It's the same one I use. Anybody touches this, in fact, if they touch my, my uh, jewelry bench without my permission, they lose a hand in the old tradition. Now, so here I'm going to use this to block like that. See, think of this as Paul Lind. Paul Lind to block. <laughs> and then you're going to pick this up like that, and there's your gems. Then you're going to pour them off. And when you pour them off into something like a dirty clean, we'll talk about how you clean your vials later. You're going to pour this off. And you pour it up by cupping the lip like this, just as, you were handling, as if you were handling gold, and you're going to pour it in like that. See? So then, you wipe like this if there's any that are on your hand at the end of that. Then you hold it with this hand, and you cover it with it like that. You cover it, you hold it with your lead hand, your, your writing hand, and you cover it with your other hand like this. Why? There's thousands of years in the water. Don't do it that way, and see what trouble you get into.